Good morning, everybody. It is Morgan Schick, and I am just trying to make sure I have lighting correct. Um, my radio show is starting in a few minutes, and I wanted to come on before I started so you guys understand what happens. Whoa, there goes my light. Um, what happens when I do a radio show and a periscope at the same time? First of all, it's longer. Good morning from California. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so when I go on Periscope during a live radio show, I'm hearing my producers that I think are in Texas. Yay from the UK. So we got California and we got the UK. How much do we love Periscope? Because we're all the same and we can all chat and um, and hang out and learn. Not necessarily from me. I'm probably going to learn from you. But let me just explain how how my radio show goes. So when I go live, I can do my show for you and in between the commercials, you will not hear my callers, but sometimes I don't take callers when I have so much to say. My skin is super okay, yay. Um, so sometimes I won't take callers, especially when I do a Periscope, because you guys can't hear the caller and then I have to re re relate it to you. Um, tonight, today's show is, um, it's about a great article I read in the New York Times. Some people don't like the New York Times, but um, I think some of their personal stories and stuff like that are really great. Um, so there was a, um, an article about four days ago on how why we marry the wrong people. This is not a, like I'm teaching you how to date. It's not like that at all. It's um, I think of it as a metaphor for everything we do in our life. So I read it and I was like, oh, this makes so much sense to me. So we're going to talk about the article. I'm going to tell you all about the article um, and the metaphor of our image and decisions we make even on where, whom we marry. So interesting. And I know it doesn't seem like that would be a connection, but it is. It's actually in a very interesting connection. Um, you wouldn't think they would be, but I found a connection because I can do that. And then, when I go on commercial breaks, which are usually about five minutes on the radio, and um, by the way, if you ever want to call me, it's 866-606-8255, um, 866-606-8255. When I go on a break on the radio, and I haven't started yet, my show hasn't started yet, I'm going to do my makeup. So, if you are a person that's always wondering, what's that three minute makeup? What are Morgan's thoughts on makeup? I'm going to do it on Periscope. I see hearts, so this we're going to go over this. How do you sculpt your eye? How do you fix your face without putting makeup all over it? Hi. Oh, hi, Bridget. Oh, we're working on Bridget's skin right now. So, that was another thing I want to tell you. Um, I learned the hard way. I had a lot of pimples. I still have scars where I had pimples. Um, I used to pop my pimples, I used to go to facials, but I'm starting my radio right now, sh show right now, so come join and stay with me. Good morning everybody, it's Morgan Schick and this is Beauty Rehab. I'm super excited to be on the Lifestyle Talk Radio Network because they let me jabber on about my 25 years as a Ford model. Um, makeup artist because my skin was destroyed as a Ford model um, and then I wrote a book called Your Makeover Simple Ways for Any Woman to Look Her Best then I had my own makeup line Morgan Schick Cosmetics on HSN that I made from I made it from beginning to end it's like I, this wasn't a private label that I just put my name on and sold it I made every single ingredient hi you guys I'm so happy you guys are with me I made all the ingredients ingredients um, I sold it on HSN for 11 years um, in that time, I got married. I had two kids. And um, when my company started to get overwhelming, I people that know me, my sister for sure, I'm not a great multitasker. I don't do well with pressure. Um, it's hard enough for me to do a Periscope and a radio show. Um, so I retired right when things were getting a little amped up and I had to go on HSN and then go retail and be in all the stores and travel. And it was too much. So I decided when I had a fork in a row to try and be a huge company and be a mom, I decided to go with the mom route. Um, and I was really lucky to be able to do that. A lot of women don't have that choice. They have two, three jobs. So I give it anyone who knows how to multitask, even in the lowest degree, I love you um, because I could not do that. Anyway, so 
I took some time off, but I started doing radio. I did a lot of TV shows about my different philosophy on makeup, and I have a totally different philosophy on skincare and makeup than most people. First of all, I think it's tragic that almost everything we know about our own skincare and our own makeup, we've learned through ads, in magazines, on commercials, supermodels. You know, I don't have anything against them. It was an awesome career for me. But I had to learn the hard way. I had pimples from makeup, so then I would strip my skin with an alpha hydroxy, or I would strip myself with salicylic acid, or proactive, or, and again, in moderation, I don't think any of one thing is bad, but I think that if you're getting lasers or doing peels and, and using alcohol on your skin um, and then stripping your skin, you really do start to cause your own problems. So when someone says to me, Morgan, I've got combination skin or I've got dry patches and oily and I've got pimples and I'm like, okay, we don't even know what you have. You don't know what you have because... You've processed your skin to such an extent, first you got one pimple, then you dried it out, and then your skin threw off more sebum, which is your own moisturizer. We are equipped as humans to have our own moisturizing system, and it's called our natural sebum. Our natural sebum keeps our skin in balance, our pH, just like your internal organs have to be in a balance, your external skin is an organ, so it does as well. So if you get one pimple from, let's say, I don't know, touched your face and there was bacteria on your fingers and it's near your pore and if the pore is closed you can get um, a whitehead if the pore is open it oxidizes and looks like a blackhead this isn't complicated stuff but it's important for you to know that you can fix your own skin just like you probably kind of messed up your own skin which is exactly what happened to me so my um, mission is to give you guys not only the information to make better choices with your skincare, your beauty, your aging, but to also get you excited about it. So beauty rehab, well, no. Do I think you need to go to rehab? No, I don't. But do we kind of, are we a little bit messed up on what we think about our image and our, our place in society and our image? Yes. I cannot tell you that only your heart and your soul and your kindness matters because it's not true. It would be a lie if I told you that. Your image matters. Everything is on it now. I mean, there's a spike in plastic surgery and fillers all because people are doing selfies of themselves. You're on Facebook. You're on Twitter. You're on Tinder. You're on Swish Swash to get a date. Like, if someone's trying to hire you, if someone's trying to see if they want you to go to their college or a club. They can Google you and see any picture that has ever been of you. Now, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying hide from all Google. No. I'm, and I'm not saying get plastic surgery at all. I'm saying there are simple steps for men or women that can make you the greatest version of yourself. I want you to be the polished version of yourself. I don't want you to look like a Kardashian. I don't want you to look like me. I don't want to look like anybody else. And um, and I'm 50, almost 52. October, I'll be 52. And you cannot imagine, miss your true color high pigment powder, so natural. Oh, thank you. It's coming back. It's coming back. That's for the later part of the show. But I want you to be excited of whatever age you are. I want you to look in the mirror every single morning and be excited about what you see. I don't ever want you to fear a birthday. I don't want you to have to lie about your birthday. In fact, I want you to be so excited. Do you know how excited I am when people ask me how old I am? I'm excited. Why? Because at 51, I've done a couple little things, meaning like skincare, like not washing my face at night or in the morning, just washing it once at night. Um, not wearing liquid foundation or tinted moisturizers that make your pores bigger. A, l a couple little things that have made my skin so good that I'm not wearing makeup right now on Periscope. This is me with no makeup. I just have my oils and my serum on and that's it. Um, I want that for you for the rest of your life. I don't ever want you to say to me, Morgan, I looked so good at my wedding. Oh, you should have seen me at my high school reunion or, or when I grew, when I got, you know, my first job, whatever. 20 years ago, 25 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago. I don't ever want you to wish for that. I want you to look in the mirror every single day and think, today is the most beautiful day of my life. Today. And then you know what? Tomorrow 
is going to even be better. And the next day and the next day. I don't want you to worry about pimples. I don't want you to worry about dry skin patches. I don't want you to worry about wrinkles. I don't want you to worry about... Because what happens is, and I also don't want you to be ignorant. Ignorance is not good for your skincare and your aging. And in denial isn't either. And either is hubris. Because guess what? Do you know how many 47-year-olds I know that come to me and go, Oh my gosh! I need a cream. I've never done anything. They're so proud of themselves when they're 35 and they're like, I don't use anything but uh, soap and water on my face. Great. You're gorgeous. Happy for you. But when you're 47, you're going to run to me and you're going to be like, whoa, I need a cream. That's the same woman that goes to a dermatologist. And most dermatologists are awesome. But some dermatologists make money off of fillers, Botox, lasers, and chemical peels. Okay, and they're gonna say, well, you gotta get a laser. Well, you gotta resurface your skin. Oh, you gotta get some filler and lift up those cheeks and you gotta get some Botox and da, da, da. Guess what, you can do all that, but don't do it for the wrong reasons. Don't do it because you're desperate and somebody made you feel insecure. Don't ever look in the mirror and think that your most beautiful days were behind you. I want you to look in the mirror and think that everything more beautiful is in he ahead of you. So then you'll never lie about your age. I'm ageless. I am, I have no age and that is fine, but it's also, I'm proud of being 51. I know a lot. I know a lot about who I am and I know a lot about who I want around me. And that's one of the things I wanted to talk about this, um, about this on the show today. There, this great article in the New York Times called why you will marry the wrong person. Now you're probably thinking, what's that got to do with beauty? What's that got to do with my image? It's kind of the same thing. There's a metaphor here somewhere. Let me find it. <laughs> um, I, when you marry, and this article is really good, New York Times, and it's by Elaine Dubutton. Elaine Dubutton. I'm sure there's a really beautiful French way to say this person's name, but I do not know it. But it's Elaine Dubutton. And it was in the New York Times um, like four days ago on the 28th. And it's talking about how. We used to get married for reasons. So we used to get married because, because, and, and we're going to talk about this in the next in the next segment, and then in between on Periscope, I'm going to be doing my makeup. You guys on the radio are not going to see me do my ma makeup unless you go on Periscope Mortgage Chick, M O R G E N S C H I C K, or follow me on Instagram at Mortgage Chick. But I am going to do my makeup when we're in the break. Um, but this. This is talking about how in the old days we used to marry for convenience, which is your dad. Your dad had a farm next to this guy's farm, so we're getting married. It was, it was arranged marriages, and they didn't work out well. So now we get married for feelings, except that's not right either. <laughs> so I want to talk about what it feels like to be beautiful and what it feels like for you to have ownership in your own image. That's the connection. Feeling ownership in your own image is not far from feeling ownership in your own feelings and your responsibilities to the people around you, okay? So when you're thinking about why we will marry the wrong person, it's because we are addicted to this image of what we think that feeling should be, like sparkling and rain dust and rainbows every single time you're with your husband, that does not make a good long-term marriage because it can't sustain itself. Just like that image you saw on your face when you were 25 years old cannot sustain itself and when you're 50. So you have to work at it, but you have to have realistic expectations. So I will be right back and we will talk about this and more and more. Stay with me, Lifestyle Talk Radio this is Morgan Schick, super excited to be here. And if you're on Periscope, stay with me. Don't get bored. You're hanging out with me for an hour. I'll see you back in segment two. Okay, Periscope, here I am. Thank you. Um, so now I'm clear and um, we'll go back to talking about the radio show after, but I'm going to do my makeup for you. Okay, I have on my face right now, um, Active Argon, that's the right, that's it. Active Argon, I have the serum on, I have the um, all over drops on, and I have a day cream on. That's all that's on my face. So I am going to put on a little bit, oh, I forgot it. I don't have it up here, but I'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer um, with my sponge, clean sponge bronzer. Um, I use one side for sponge bronzer, 
the other side for um, makeup. So I'm gonna look at you multitasking like a pro. This is the kind of multitasking I can do. Um, love your nail color. Oh, you guys know that I'm so addicted. I do my I do my own nails. Sometimes I'll go get them done, but for the most part, I do my own. And you know why? Because nail polish is one of the easiest things to change and be dramatic with that is not permanent. So when someone says to me, I only wear natural nail polish, I think, why would you do that? It's so much fun to be a girl. Why wouldn't you do red or black or blue or green? Like, have fun. It comes off. And now there are so many really amazing, this is from Butter. No. Yes. This is from Butter. London. No. Is this the one that um, Justine gave me? I think you gave me this. It's called Texas Tea, maybe? Totally. Yay. Um, I think Justine sent, Sherman sent me this. She's following. She's a, she's, she's a cool chick. Um, all right. So I did my bronzer. I just made my cheeks a little bit bronzer. And now I'm going to take my um, Hide and Highlight. So Hide and Highlight is a pure pigment concealer. Um, I'm a medium. And so what I do is butter is supposed to be healthier for you. Yes, that is true. Yes. So this is the concealer, and these are the two oil-free um, makeups. So I don't like it when you put makeup all over your face. I want you to have makeup only on the um, where you need it. So I'm going to do this really quickly so you guys can see it, and I may not even blend it through this show. But do you see where I'm doing? I'm lifting you owe me your address. So you have to have, um, direct message me, shmoofulayalala. You need me your address because um, everyone who called in during my Active Argon shows, I told you guys to get a surprise. Well, everyone needs to send me their address that, that um, called in. Okay, so I'm doing lighter area, and you see how little I'm using? Look, that's what pure pigment looks like. Watch. Do you see that? You don't need very much of it when it's pure pigment. Now, a lot of concealers out there, and that's why I'm making mine again, because I made this. See, it's got an M on it. I made this. Hi, dear. I sent it. Oh, okay, good. I haven't checked yet because I was getting ready for my radio show. Um, so I made this when I was on HSN, and I'm making it again because with the new Active Argon ingredient, um, it's phenomenal. I had to. I had to have this ingredient in my products because I only want to make a product that's better and better and better. And it was better and better and better and it's patented and it's awesome. So and now I'm going to do around my eyes with um, a little. So what I did was I did two oil-free concealers. One to brighten up dark circles, darkness on our face where our bone structure keep, makes a natural shadow. And the other was to match pimples. So you see like I have a pimple right there. I'm not dealing, I'm not worrying about it. Thank goodness for that. My marionette lines need it. See I have those two right there. So then you take the one with the concealer and you do that around your eyes. And I'm just using my periscope for my mirror, which is what I usually do. But if I miss something, will you guys just like write me and say, dude, you did not blend up top like blah, 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 because sometimes I can't see. And then you see all the broken capillaries on my nose. Watch that. Bye-bye. Gotta love pure pigment. And then, oh, we're going back to the radio, and I'm going to talk about um, why we marry the wrong people and the connection it has to ourselves. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Morgan Schick and this is Beauty Rehab. I'm really excited that you are with me and if you have a question or a comment or you just want to be like, hey, what's going on? The number is 866-606-8255, 866-606-8255. I am a former, but I'm, you're kind of never not a model once you're a model, like if, because you can still work. I don't try to, but I do other things now. But I was a Ford model for 25 years. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. I'm also simulcasting this in Periscope. So if you are on Periscope, at Morgan Schick, Morgan, M-O-R-G-E-N-S-C-H-I-C-K. I'm also on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. You can email me. Um, I'm here for you. And I love being on the radio. So in case you can't see me, you can still get some great information about your skin, your image, your beauty, your aging, um, a bunch of girly girl stuff that I love to talk about. Um, so today's section um, is that... I read a great article about why we marry the wrong person, and I thought that there was a connection there about having a unex, um, 
unrealistic expectations about your marriage. Um, and I think that is that there's a direct connection to that of an unreal expectation about your aging. And I think that we kind of blow both of those because we think that you're supposed to feel that we, we get addicted and that's what the article talks about is how we used to be married for convenience and then we that didn't work because people hated each other and were so lonely and then we became married for feelings um, based on you know I want to feel this way and I should feel this way in order to be married to you which is really not true um, it's actually better in the article um, and um, what works for me is that I have very little in common with my husband I have the greatest husband ever but we don't have that much in common like I'm super messy and unorganized and my husband is like the cleanest, most organized doer, super, if he doesn't have a hundred things going on and he's not learning and he's not in school and he's not treating patients and he's not doing all that, he can't even sleep. If I have more than two things in a day, I think I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. I, we're just not the same. But what we are is super passionate about what we love. We're good people. We have the same sense of, we have the same sense of, um, of, of, Oh, what's the word? Um, when you dis when you dis disagreement renewal, like we we want we want to not be we. What is the word? Oh my gosh, it's in the article. It's kind of like um, when you have when you're not the when oh, I can't believe it. Well, first of all, we're different types of communicators, but also in this, it's um, when you guys have oh, help me, my Periscope people. What's the word when you guys are? in a having a disruption and you're trying to fix it um, not combat resolution something like that Co yeah resolution of disruptions in your marriage I know I got resolution part but the first part I can't get anyway but yes disagreement resolutions whatever that means um, disagreement resolutions so we have the same in that we also conflict resolution who was that Soto, oh, I can't see, but I think it's Soto SR. Thank you. I owe you one. Thank you for helping me do my radio show. Um, conflict resolution. We have the same conflict resolution. We both want a conflict resolution. We both want to stay in a union that we will know, know it will never be perfect. That is a big deal. So and when people say to me, oh, well, I got divorced, and why did you get divorced? Oh, we fought all the time. Well, why did you want to fight all the time? No one wants to fight. So, if, But if you're both not on the same page that you want to be able to, to resolve your conflicts, that's really hard. But you also both can't think that you're going to be the same people for your rest of your lives. I am a totally different person than I was when I married my husband. I've been with him for 23 years. I'm a different person than I was last week. And I don't expect him to be the same person. I want him to change and grow. And I, I, I also, but here's the thing that I think connects with your image. I want, I am not, I'm not, I'm very realistic about what my aging is going to look like. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to care about my image, my body, my surface, my system, and my spirit. But it's nobody's responsibility for my happiness but mine. My husband doesn't come home from work and think he has to make me happy. He doesn't. No one does. When I talk to my best friend in the in best friend on the phone, I don't ever think she's I have to make her happy. I literally answer the phone, yo. Cuz I know she is not going to every once in a while she'll be depressed about something or she'll be in, you know, upset over something and I actually laugh because it's so rare that I'm like, "Wait, you're depressed?" That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. And when that happens, it's a great diffuser. So I don't go to my sister, Beth. I don't go to her and say, Beth, you know, she does, I don't call her every day like, oh my gosh, lift me up, lift me up. I'm so depressed. Ever. I'm self-watering. And I want you to be self-watering. If you're self-watering, if you take it as a responsibility that it's your responsibility to fix your skin, it's your responsibility to work on your image a little, 
I'm not talking about like getting all your teeth done. I'm talking about a white strip for an hour. Okay, that's all I'm talking about. This is not complicated. Then you are the same way in every other relationship that you have. You are not going to your husband and being like, he doesn't fulfill me. Okay, I really, when women say that to me, I want to punch them. I'm not kidding. He didn't fulfill me. Really? Your job is to fulfill yourself. That's your job in life, whether you're married or not married. Do not get married because you're lonely. Because guess what? If you're not married for the right reasons, you're going to be lonely with somebody else sitting next to you that you hate when they breathe. And that's really upsetting. So what I want to connect for your image, and I'm doing my makeup as we speak on the air, on Periscope, is I just want you to think about that. Digest it. You don't have to agree with me. In fact, if you don't agree with me, I hope you'll call me. And you'll say, you know what, Morgan? No, I think my husband should fulfill me. I don't agree with that. I don't think it ever works. I think that if you go to somebody to lift you up all the time, someday they're going to get sick of it. And someday they're going to be like, you know what? You're just not a happy person. You have to make yourself happy. And I know there are a lot of like chemical imbalances. There's a lot of stuff all that out there going on. I have hormone issues now. At 51, I never had. I have like this crazy autoimmune rash. I've had to completely change my diet. I can't have dairy. Taking away my half and half in my latte is like, it's, it's so upsetting. But I have to do it because I want to be a happy person and I want to be a healthy person. I just don't want to be a pretty corpse. I want to live for a really long time. So where there is imbalance in your life, I want you to find balance. And if that means that you feel like you're always in a conflicted relationship with your husband or your partner or your best friend or your mother or your sister, I want you to look inward first. Same thing with your beauty. I want you to look inward before you look at go to a dermatologist. We're going to be right back. I'm going back to Periscope. This is Morgan Schick on Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. We're going to talk about in our third segment, lots more makeup, lots more um, you, Eunice. This is a you show. It's all about you. I'll be right back. Morgan Schick, stay with me. Third segment. Okay, Periscope, thank you for staying with me. You guys can jump off anytime you want. Jump back on, jump back off, jump back. Forget the whole thing. I know Periscope is usually like a few minutes, but um, I like to do my makeup during my Periscope show so you guys can see how easy it is. Okay, so let's do brows. Um, but I really like this subject of um, like being your own advocate on many levels. So I'm going to use the Tom Ford. Um, because I love this little spoolie dress brush. And, um, ooh, let's take a collar in the fourth segment. Or we can take a collar in the third segment. We'll take a collar in the third segment. Um, and then maybe, maybe it'll be related to this, but maybe not. Okay, so I'm doing my brows. Remember, clean hands, lift, pull it out. Remember, your brows don't have to be thick, and if your eyes are close set, you don't want your brows to go too far in. If they do, they make everything go in. Um, and remember, most people, unless your hair is super, super, super black, you are going to be using a blonde brow pencil. Because I'm not trying to restructure your brow, I'm trying to tint the hairs that are lighter and the skin in underneath it so your brow looks natural just fuller and we're talking more about the lengthening of it so it's perpendicular to your cheekbone and your jaw okay now I'm gonna do my lips now this is really important I love these lip stains and if you've been following me you know I'm a lip stain girl and here's why um, I saw a beautiful ad yesterday of Sofia Vergara Sofia Vergara. I have. I'm the worst with um, with accents. But in this photo that she did for Coverall, her lip is so overlined that it's totally obvious. If they had stained it and then just used a balm on the inside, you would never know they overlined her lip. She's beautiful. I mean, what does she care? But I'm just saying. When I see an ad that I know there was, you know hundred thousand dollars worth of production on I'm like why do I see her overline lip you guys are better than that so all you do is take your ear hit it to your shoulder lift your chin and you can see the lip ridge you use a stain same thing over here 
You see where my lip line ends? I'm lining the ridge. And then I just do the bow. See it? And then same thing on the bottom. So when you use a stain, you're not adding any weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, to your lip. So one, it's, it's so, so similar. The reason I'm using a, li a, brow, a brow pencil is because I want the pigment wax ratio to make it look like I've got more hairs, right? Because the wax has weight to it. And it lies on top of my hair, lays on top of my hair, and it makes my hair, my hair look like I've got more brows, right? It's exactly the same with the mouth, but the opposite. When you use a wax pencil, you get weight, so it, it lifts, it, it, you can see the weight of the pencil on your lips. If you do it with a stain, you can't see that. So then I'm just going to use my Corez, what color is this? Jasmine Butter. So I'm basically just using a, this is just a little lip balm, watch. So my lips look. They're moisturized, but does it look like I'm wearing any lipstick? It shouldn't. It just should just look my lips. Okay, let's do my eyes, and then um, and then we'll go back. So I'm using this from Tom Ford. Um, this is, ooh, you guys know I'm blind. This is called Bruise. And this is for um, blue eyes or green eyes, but it works really well with red eyes. So when you use a... Um, cooler, warmer purple in your light, lash line like this, it cancels out the redness that's in your lash line, in your eyes. Do you reapply the lip stain through it today? No. That's why lip stains are so cool. You put them on once and you just put lip balm on all day or you put a lipstick on all day and the stain remains. I am a stain fan. I want you, I'll show you it, I'll show it to you again in a second and then we're gonna have to go back to the show. So I jiggle this into my lash line because I don't want it to be on the top of my lid. I want to hide my lash line. I want to hide this into my lash line, but I'll show you how um, green it makes my eyes. I think we're going back to the radio right now. We are. All right. Stay with me, Periscope. I don't want to lose you. And Mike is on. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Morgan Schick, and this is Lifestyle Talk Radio Network. Name of my show is Beauty Rehab. No, I don't think you're a beauty addict, although I will say that I'm a bit of a beauty skincare addict. I think that skincare is mandatory, um, but makeup is fun, and it's optional, but I mostly want you, be, to, want you to be excited about your image. I want you to care about what you look like. I think you need to be a super nice, informed, educated, self-educated, however educated you want to be. Um, I think you need to be kinder than you would ever expect anybody to be to you. But your image matters. We live in an image-based society. And if you want people to even give you the chance to see what a kind heart you have, I want you to be polished. That does not mean you need to be skinny, super model -y. It doesn't mean you need to look like a Kardashian. It doesn't mean you need to be, you know, 22. Um, I just think you need to be a nice, polished version of yourself. And I also don't want you to ever be, I don't ever want you to be desperate. I always want you to be really connected to your surface, which is how you look and your body and your skin and all that kind of stuff, your system, which is how your body works for you, um, and your spirit. And your spirit is whatever you make it. If you are religious, awesome. If you're not religious, awesome. As long as you do unto others as you would have them do unto you, we are cool. So, you can call me at 866-606-8255. I am doing a simulcast with per, um, Periscope. I'm at Morgan Schick, M-O-R-G-E-N-S-C-H-I-C-K. It's an hour Periscope, so I understand that Periscope is like a quick, you know, in and out. But I do a Periscope of my radio show because a lot of times people just want to replay it. And... Um, Watch me do my makeup, which I do during my show, but you can't see it on the radio. Um, but it's still, um, it's, 
still important for you to learn how to do your makeup in a few minutes. So you are putting your best self forward. I also think that if you've got dingy teeth, um, you need to do a white strip. There are a lot of natural white strips out there. Um, I don't necessarily think you need to get all your teeth veneered or get fake teeth. Um, I think teeth are interesting. So I had braces when I was younger, but I've never had any type of whatever um, veneers on my teeth. I just do a white strip like once or twice a year. And um, I drink a lot of coffee. So if you drink coffee, I want you to smile, look in the mirror, and see what your teeth look like. Because that is the, one of the first things that anybody sees about you. And if they're dingy, people will not think the best things. They may think, ooh, is this a smoker? Ooh, does she ever brush her teeth? So I don't want that for you. I want you to be confident and think that every day that you're alive is going to be the most beautiful day that you're alive. Okay? So um, I want to take a call. I think we have a call. Do we have a call? Yes? No? Okay, great. Hi, this is Morgan. How are you? I'm great. All right, Nancy, what's your question? Or do you are you disagreeing with me something I'm saying? Because I love that too. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so the question is, from Nancy, the question is, is her cell phone causing her pimples? And the answer is 100% yes. Your cell phone is bacteria ridden. Just like I say, and Nancy, thank you, that's such a great te te question. Just like I say, don't touch your face. In fact, I am sure I'm going to make a shirt someday that says, hashtag don't touch your face, because it drives me bat crazy. When I watch somebody who's got tons of pimples on their face just playing with them, I'm like, oh, my head's going to explode. A little bacteria can make a lot of your pores have pimples. So if you have, so Nancy, your cell phone, you have to try and keep it away from your face. You also can just use earphones. You can use little earbuds so you never have your cell phone on your face. If you do have your cell phone on your face or your hair on your face or your, or I, I, I've seen people just keep their hand on their face the whole time that they have a conversation with somebody. It's so bad. There's so much bacteria on there. Your skin is so delicate and those pores, if you get bacteria in them, you're going to get pimples. And then if you pimp the pop, the pimples, you're going to get a wound. It's crazy. So Nancy. Clean your phone and get some earphones. Do you hear me? Okay, because I do not want, and, and if you do get one pimple from your cell phone, Nancy, I want you to not touch that pimple. Let, wash it once a day, only once a day at night. Put a light moisturizer on. I, how old are you? Are you under 30? Okay, so you're a baby. Oh, you have so many years to have beautiful, gorgeous skin. I don't want you to waste one second on bad bacteria or pimples. So here's the deal. You're 24. Um, I want you to wash your face with a non-sulfate gentle cleanser every single night. It does not have to be foamy. In fact, I would prefer it were not foamy. If you're addicted to foam, I'd like you to wean yourself off it. A hundred years ago, women used cold cream. Women used lard. They used whatever they had to get the dirt off their face and that was all they used. And they never changed their pH. They never disrupted their natural moisture barrier. But now that's all we do. We are addicted to squeaky clean. Do you use a squeaky, is your skin squeaky clean when you're done washing it? Good. She started using clean cream cleanser. I'm so happy. Oh, olive oil, olive oil, salt water. 
and it's like a tonic after your after you because that olive oil is a large molecule olive oil is a larger molecule it works well so that's great so here's my advice to you if you find something that works and I'm working with a girl right now who's super sweet and she's got lots of pimples so we got to figure it out we're gonna figure out how to keep her skin clean and then we're gonna keep it that way for a while until we start getting more disruptions that's how you have to do everything you have to find what works for you your skin should be gorgeous you should not have pimples every once in a while you might get a hormonal pimple when you throw when you throw an egg um, you might get a hormonal pimple but that's it you should get one pimple it should last three or four days and that's it if you have a lot of acne there is imbalance there is imbalance somewhere if you're spreading it with your fingers if you're touching your face if you're using too much alcohol on your skin so your skin is producing too much sebum and then your skin is dirty and then your skin gets clogged and that's how you get pimples it's not complicated and it's the same with wrinkles hydrated skin can't get wrinkles if you're drying out your skin with acids with retin-a with all of this stuff you're gonna get dry skin and pimples and wrinkles and then everybody's like I need to go to the dermatologist stop going to the dermatologist somebody is screwing you up and I'm not gonna screw you up and I'm not asking you to buy anything I'm asking you to just do four days anyone out there that has pimples four days wash your face with this gentle cleanser a milky cleanser if you can that doesn't foam that doesn't leave your skin stripped doesn't change your pH put your moisturizer on if you're over 40 you're gonna use a little bit of an antioxidant serum as well and maybe a, um, a, a slight alpha hydroxy and a night cream wake up in the next morning and rinse your skin only rinse it only and then do your serum and moisturizer and oils if you're using the olive oil and saltwater oil whatever it is you're using do that again don't ever touch your face do not pick at your pimples never make a pimple into a wound then you have the ability to scar it's not complicated I want you to do that for four days and then I want you to direct message me or Instagram me or whatever it is and I want you to tell me how it's working out for you because I guarantee you it is what changed my skin and I have had for the last 25 years I've had beautiful skin since the first 10 were a train wreck from modeling okay I've got one segment left in the next segment I want to do the rest of my makeup and I want to talk about um, I want to talk about eye color I want to talk about wearing makeup that makes your eye color pop we were just starting about that in the um, in the um, commercial but when we talk when we come back I want to talk about that as well and then we'll talk about some summer ideas for keeping your skin protected in during the summer all right we'll be right back I'm Morgan Schick this is beauty rehab and lifestyle talk radio network simulcasting with Periscope thank you for Nancy calling in and we'll see you back one minute or five minutes for segment four see you soon okay Periscope let's finish our makeup so I did this I did this prune and I'm just gonna take it out I'm just gonna make sure I got all of it since I'm not using a mirror maybe I should take a mirror for this since my eyes are so bad okay so you do not have to get this Tom Ford I will tell you that all Alme makes a um, beautiful kind of a dark prune colored um, eye, eyeliner um, and that's like a, a couple dollars this one I think was like $25 um, and then I'm going to take my sculpting color so I've been using the um, you know I like this one from the scandalize and the reason I keep using this one is because it's the only one I know um, it's the only one I know that you can still get this one they don't make this one anymore from Maybelline and I don't want to keep doing doing my eyes for you guys unless you guys can learn it so let's talk about sculpting our eyes when you look in the mirror you're gonna see your brow bone and you're gonna see your cheekbone now it's very obvious to you right now that my eyes are very close set you may not have close set eyes but you want to bring your eyes out as far as possible because as we age we lose collagen but even younger if you've got a longer face versus a wider face you're always going to look thinner and it always makes you look older so we're going to take our liner and I'm 
you know I'm blind, so I'm going to go underneath my eye. You don't have to go all the way in. And then I'm going to go straight out. Do you see how my eyes curves up? I'm not doing that. I'm going out. And I'm not pulling because that tissue is pretty delicate. Okay, so then I attach it. I go straight out from the corner. And then do you see where my do you see where the crease of my eye is? Do you see how small my eye actually is? I'm just going to take this and I'm going to make my crease here now. So this is not an eyeshadow, you guys. This is a sculpting. This is my sculpting my eye to make my eye bigger. So now look, I'm not blending it yet. You've got brow, eye sculpt, cheekbone, jawbone. So it's all lining up, which pulls everything out. Okay, and I'm going to do this one really quickly so you see it. I'm going to hold my eye. I'm going to go straight out, not going up, going out, and then attaching it out here. Then I'm going up around my brow bone, and I'm attaching it. Now, this is a waterproof color, so you've got to move it a little bit with this. You can't, you can't do what I'm doing right now and not find your brush because you know what will happen. Oh, I can't find my brush. Okay. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to go underneath. And then you can just use your, um, you can use your finger if you're holding it so you don't push or tug on that delicate tissue. You can see how this isn't moving as much as easily now. I don't want to, I don't want to stretch my skin. Okay. I'm going to use my mirror just to see if I got this right. blending it. Okay, so I did it. Now here's what I want you guys to see. Do you see how it's opened up my face? It's made everything look a little wider and that's what I want for you. Okay, and now we're going to take our, um, I'm going to take my eyelash curler. I have no eyelashes and they're really light. It's like the only real light part of my whole hair. My hair color is fake. I was blonde when I was little, but I haven't been blonde in quite some time. Okay. I'm using the Clinique Lash Builder. You may not need this because you may have actual lashes. I do not. And then, I think we should do a comparison right now, right before my show starts again. Let's do a comparison. I'm going to do the organic. Okay. This is called... This is called 100% Pure Mascara in Black, Black Tea, I think. I'm using this on one side. And then I'm going to use the, um, so this is 100% Pure. It looks like Blackberry. It smells like Blackberry. I think this is Blackberry. This might be blue. So that's not really a great comp. Try it. Oh. This is a hard thing to do without a mirror. Hold on, I'm going to do this with a mirror. Because then I get it all messy, and then you guys are like, ooh, she doesn't even know how to do her makeup. Okay, we're going back to the radio now, and we're going to finish talking about colors that make your eyes pop. Um, and the last part of that article. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. This is Morgan Schick. And the name of my show is called Beauty Rehab. And this show is all about getting you excited about your image. Your image matters. I was a Ford model for 25 years. I wrote a book, Your Makeover, Simple Ways for Any Woman to Look Her Best. I was on HSN with my own products for um, almost 11 years. And now I am actually on Evine. I have a product line called Activated Active Argon. Um, it's really awesome, but guess what? This is not a show about Active Argon. This is a show about you. So right now, while we're on Periscope, because I simulcast on Periscope, I was just doing my makeup, and I'm doing a comparison with two mascaras. One is called 100% Pure, and it is a almost all organic uh, mascara, which I am 100% behind because I think as many products that you can have in your life, and that's not just on your face and your body, but in your inside, 
um, and in your lot in, in your home I want them to be as natural as possible so you have everything you can going for you now am I saying that you have to like you know sell a kidney in order for you to get or organic produce no you can go on to one of my favorite things that I've been a member for a really long time of um, since I think since it started um, from my mom environmental working group it's ewg.org and you can get um, a list of the most important products that you should have that are organic um, produce wise and then also I believe there's also a list that is like the dirty dozen which is the, the products that you should not be eating unless you can get them organic um, environmental working group um, really good and um, I I would love for everything in your makeup to be organic yes I would problem is um, it's, it's sustainability it's it's shelf life it's if I have a cream if us if I have a cream and there's no preservative in this in, in a in a cream and I in anything I put my finger in um, if there's any moisture in there then bacteria is going to grow so I don't want that to happen now we are switching over quickly to um, non-toxic preservatives but when I was making when I first first making my products I went to the labs and I said I want everything to be organic everything and they were like okay so you choose either you throw out every product you have every week or you keep everything in the refrigerator and I knew I was going to go on HSN and ask people to keep their stuff in the refrigerator they were going to laugh me off the stage so you have to make compromises and while I don't want any hormone dis disruptors in my products I don't want any sal uh, sulfates, ph phthalates, um, ethanol, there's a lot of things that I don't want a certain amount of a low grade preservative um, is not is is better for you than the alternative meaning that an infection is worse for you so I want you to be able to clean out your system and what does that mean that means that every day or every other day you should be uh, using products using um, uh, eating things that clean your body out for instance look at this this is turmeric this is a turmeric root ginger tea with water that's it that's all that's in here is turmeric roots so I get the roots I cut them or I just snap them in half I put them in a stainless steel um, bowl, you know, saucepan, and then I put fresh ginger in, and I put like 20 of those little turmeric, they look like worms, the little turmeric root, and I put that in there, and you can put cinnamon in there, and if you can, you can put honey in there if you want as well, but turmeric and ginger are awesome detoxifiers. Why? Because I want my body detoxified not only that it balances your pH it's got so many great things for you it helps with blood sugar it's awesome so I yes there is a preservative in my lip balm a little bit of it but I'd rather have that than an infection and I'm going to keep drinking my turmeric so that's what I'm talking about you do not have to have everything organic but as much as you possibly can and I don't want anyone to feel less than if they're not being organic okay because that is a horrible way to feel it's a horrible to way to feel that way with your children it's horrible that to feel that way with yourself so I don't want you to feel that way um, now, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is colors that you can wear around your eyes that make your own eye color pop. Okay, so we were talking about how I was using a prune liner today. I have blue eyes, but it doesn't matter whether you have blue eyes, if you have brown eyes, if you have green eyes. The whites of your eyeball, not your iris, which is your eye color, but the whites of your eyeball can get red, can get bloodshot. If you have allergies, if you were up late, you could just be a person who has red eye shot. I, I, you know your eye area is red so what I want you to do is know that that prune color or that dark burgundy warm or cool can cancel out the red that is in the whites of your eyes so it makes your iris color pop even more it's not that it just makes blue eyes pop it makes all eyes pop the reason why you see it more in blue eyes is that usually when someone's got blue eyes they're usually if they're fairer you're gonna see the lashes are, are lighter you won't see the prune as well if you've got dark lashes right 
So that's why women use black eyeliner if you've got dark lashes already. So you can use either of them, but know that you can use black on the top part and you can jiggle the prune on the bottom part. There are many ways, or you can just use like a very light um, eggplant color uh, powder in your lash line. That would look really good as well. All of that, that warm pruney color is going to make the whites of your eyes look brighter and your iris color will stand out more. Don't just think you have to wear black eyeliner for your eyes to, to pop. You don't. In fact, if you wear black eyeliner, the black eyeliner pops, not the eyes. Forever, I'm looking at a girl going, nice black eyeliner, but I don't even notice the rest of your face because the black eyeliner is so harsh. So, I want you to explore with other colors. I want you to try prune. When was the last time you went and bought a prune eyeliner? Never. And a dark brown, um, other really fun colors. It's just makeup. You're going to wash it off at night once a day, right? You're going to wash your face once a day. So, that's my challenge for the end of my show today. I want you guys to just wash your face once a day with a non-sulfate, non-stripping cleanser. And I want you never to wash your face in the morning again, ever. Did you hear me? Ever. I want you to just rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. And if you go to the gym later on in the day, just rinse it again. Don't wash it with another sulfate or another stripping cleanser. Stop over-processing your skin. I will see you guys next time. I loved being with you. If you're on Periscope, I love you guys. Everybody at Lifestyle Talk Radio Network, thank you for having me. Beauty Rehab, Morgan Schick. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay, Periscope. I'm all done. I kind of finished my makeup. Maybe not so great today. I love you all. I felt like my lighting sucked, but it is what it is. It was live, and I'm not a lighting specialist. Um, thank you for being here, and always DM me. We did the makeup... Uh, challenge I think that the colossal eye looks better but I can't tell really because I said my lighting sucks um, I will see you guys next time be well go slay your day slay your day <laughs>